Doing a little housekeeping? Yes. But I should clear off the table first. Fools, bro! Hello everybody and welcome to the channel with a bunny that strikes fear into the hearts of man by a mere wiggle of her nose. I haven't been feeling so well this past week and couldn't maintain the strength or focus to stream. As an apology, I took a nap and got back enough strength to hit the high seas once more in World of Warships. I'm going to keep it short, with maybe two or three battles since I'm still not feeling too great. I have myself a new outfit. It's all thanks to a new friend I made. She introduced me to a nifty little shop and taught me how to put them on. Listen, when you have big old floppity loppities like me, you'll need some help putting on clothes sometimes. As you can see, I'm rolling with Dunkirk this time. It's an interesting little battle boat. Some of the other battleships must have been like, Hey Dunkirk, how come you don't have main guns on your sides and aft like other dreadnought designs? And Dunkirk would be like, Well mademoiselles, before I can explain, we must first talk about parallel universes. Anyway, this is sure to be some amazing matches, because I'm just oozing with big BB energy. First, I'm going to turn Dunkirk over port side, then roll around over to starboard so I can dance around that island, and hopefully keep my bunny booty safe. I'm still not sure how I get ribbons without actually hitting. If only this happens when I'm being my absolute worst with CVs. right to peacefully assemble, at the bottom of the sea. Okay you know what? Just because you have torpedoes doesn't mean you have to use them. Well, as a friend once said, BB means big booty. And big booties do naturally attract long cylindrical shafts to them. That just naturally explode upon contact.
Bonne journée à vous, mon ami allemand. Avez-vous un moment pour parler des obus explosifs déguisés en bâtons de pain Hello there, little DD. How are you today? Cannot complain. I'm going on ahead. See you later. Okay, bye. This is how a French battleship hunts its prey. Nice. Had I gone with a CV, I would have been at the bottom of this list. Now to show of some really super big BB energy. Big Mamie herself. I've decided I won't use a CV this time. Anytime anyone asks me why I don't put my carriers close to the battle, I give them a simple and convincing excuse. The reason why I don't move often as a carrier is because I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my aft cheeks will alert the enemy team of my approach and reveal my position. Oh, fun facts. A warship's launch day is kind of like a birthday. 
and I happen to share such days with the USS Massachusetts and USS Lexington. That would be the Essex Class CV-16 Lexington, not CV-2. September 23rd, my true birthday. Massachusetts is dummy thick also. But I want the clap of my aft cheeks to alert the enemy team of my approach. It means their days are numbered. Potato. Catch. Those long cylinder things again, exploding against my big bouncing booty upon contact. I'm not sure if I'm in any condition to face off against a battleship, but moments like this is where I activate my special ability, the finest tower. Let's do this.
that, does and bucks, is why this is called my finest tower. Take it all in. Easily a great performance. There's no way I can get like this in randoms. I know, I've tried. Many times. So anyway, I'm still feeling unusually tired with a persistent headache, so I'm going to go back to resting. I'll begin streaming again on Monday morning, US Eastern Time. I won't make it a promise, as being a healthcare worker, anything can go wrong. I don't expect it to, however. And that's it for today's video. If you like it, take aim at that like and subscribe buttons and fire with all main guns and I hope you will sail away with me on our next adventure. Until next time, bye bye.